Good morning, this is Keith Van Wormer with Vantech Consulting. Today I'd like to take a few minutes to talk about um, visual fault locators or red lights as they're called. Um, these are probably one of the most underused tools that I can think of. Every time I do a uh, fiber training class, uh, we start talking about, um, about the red lights, about visual fault locators, and uh, I find that not a lot of people are, are using these in the, in the network. So I just wanted to cover these. Um, what we have is we have a couple different visual fault uh, uh, locators. So this is a pen style. Um, I have one from JDSU. We have a uh, small adapter to go from a 2.5 to a 1.25 uh, millimeter ferrule. I have an LC jumper, um, SCs, you know, 2.5. So basically these are really, really easy to use. Um, so we'll just start with, uh, with the LC. So they have, um, they're used for fiber identification, for fault finding, etc. So um, for the LCs, we have to use a little adapter. Um, these are not adapters for utilizing or changing LC to SC or uh, the, the 1.25 to 2.5. Um, you can't use these in an OTDR or, or a power meter. There's um, a lot of loss across these. So this guy here, you just plug in um, the 2.5 into your visual fault locator, plug in your 1.25 millimeter. We turn this on and um, go ahead and I'm going to turn this light out see if we can see this. So we can just have this, uh, this is flashing right now. So let's get it on a constant. So this shows us um, in this jumper, if we can see this, um, that it's a fairly good condition jumper. Okay, there's not macro bends in it. Um, we're going from A to B. Everything looks good on this one. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll undo this one. You can turn this also onto a, uh, if you're questioning whether or not this is the correct fiber, uh, just a quick push of the button and um, we can turn it on to a flashing um, mode so that we can uh, identify this. This, um, if you had a cap on here, you would see it glowing red. We'll see that on the, on the next jumper. So let's go ahead and get that one out. Um, this guy here, so these are good for finding macro bends. This one here is giving us a, um, you notice this light flashing right in the middle of the jumper. So let's assume that we're working in the central office or in a node and uh, we're not getting power. Um, you can throw this on very quickly as a visual um, fault locator to find out if perhaps this jumper got um, caught in the door and got cracked if we're having light loss here. Um, you know, all kinds of really good things. These are very fast, very easy to use, um, which kind of makes me wonder why we don't use them more often. So this guy here, um, we know this is bad. This would get thrown away. So let's look at this guy. Now, this is a typical jumper that we might see in, um, in somebody's uh, truck, right? You know, I mean, this was in the bag. It got shoved in there, and then you kind of think about putting this back into a uh, into a network here's the deal on this if you look at this um, we'll go way close here if we can I'm going to turn out some more lights um, if I can find my handy dandy there it is and the lights will go out so we'll get a better view of this um, what we're seeing is everywhere that the light is coming out of here we're losing power so this guy right here, um, he's right in the middle of a uh, this one and this one down here. These are right in the middle of the fiber. So these guys are macro bends. Um, you know, we can see that the light's escaping there. We're exceeding bend radius. Um, you know, this is the glowing end with the cap on there. Another macro bend right by the connector. Um, really a, a very handy tool. So if we're starting to see that we have a lot of loss, go ahead and turn the lights back on. If we're having a lot of loss in the network, um, this is one of the fastest ways to go out and uh, and find the um, the macro bends. These guys come in different powers. Um, I don't know the specific numbers on this, but uh, I know that this guy here is a higher powered one. Um, they range in pricing. You turn it on, 
and you can see that this guy has much brighter um, much brighter light I believe that this one is uh, five kilometer five miles uh, this guy is um, he's like double the power of this one and so this will go probably you know seven or eight miles um, these again range in price um, hugely this guy here really nice little unit from uh, my friends over at JDSU you know this is this is my personal stuff here this is what I use um, this guy here is ranges roughly about 300 bucks a little more this guy here I picked up um, for like 60 70 dollars so again huge range on these anywhere from 70 bucks or less um, up to the 300 350 400 I've seen these actually go for four hundred dollars or so um, one of the other things that is really cool that I'd like to show um, is how we can use this tool to help expedite our testing so I'm gonna go ahead and pause for a second grab another uh, another test uh, test connector and I will be right back all right we're back um, this was turn that on sorry for the arm in the picture this was a, um, a connector on the end of one of my launch bags um, I was doing a class a fiber training class the other day and my launch bag wasn't um, it didn't seem like it was acting correctly you know I was getting some strange readings and guess what I'm saying is what I wasn't expecting so um, we started fiddling around and basically the quick thing was this is a splice on connector so the very quick thing to do was to go ahead you know obviously there's a boot on here when I did this but uh, we went ahead and turned on the um, visual fault locator and you'll notice that right here and this flashing light right there um, is a break in the splice so super high loss you know it was just acting really really crazy so you know when you think about this in a testing environment um, where would this come in handy where could you use this so typical OTDR shot even if you set it for you know dual wavelength 30 second acquisition uh, change between wavelengths you're still looking at roughly a minute and a half to go ahead and shoot um, a fiber so if you were out in a pawn application so doing a passive optical networking you're out at the customer site you're putting on little pigtails out at the NIU or at the ONT and if you took a visual fault locator and a lot of equipment has this actually built in you know as an option if you took your locator or and plugged it in real quick you could look at the splice and verify that it hasn't gotten cracked before you um, you know when you put it into the uh, into the holder um, you know and before you do your OTDR shot 10 seconds you know we know exactly that it's good or bad so real handy little tools um, in the world of optics as far as test equipment goes very inexpensive um, you know just runs off a couple batteries definitely start using these in your testing they save you a bunch of time uh, well worth it you know this guy comes with a nice little pouch that clips right onto your belt so you can have them right with you all the time um, you know I just uh, I love these little things anyway I hope this was helpful please use them if you have any questions um, feel free to put them in the comments um, we appreciate if you subscribe thank you very much and uh, hope you all have a great and safe day and we will see you next time on YouTube thank you